Number 10. In a viral leaked video from a bodybuilding competition, a man's arm exploded while posing back double biceps, causing him to fall unconscious. This video was circulated on social media platforms and quickly went viral. Some speculate that his arm exploded due to injuries sustained in a motorcycle accident, while others argue that steroid abuse led to the explosion. You can see medical staff attempting to patch up his arm. Despite efforts to revive him, his identity remains unknown, leaving the man in the video shrouded in mystery. Whether he regained consciousness or if his arm recovered remains a mystery to this day. Number 9. Eric Graves, a bodybuilder from White Oak, Texas, attempted to bench press over 500 pounds in the gym. Everything seemed normal as he began to lower the bar with the encouragement of his partner supporting him. However, when he pushed about halfway up, he started feeling intense pain as his chest began to explode. In the video, you can see his chest swelling unnaturally and bursting out of his shirt, accompanied by his agonizing screams. Number 8. In a recent short video online during a back double bicep pose by five competitive bodybuilders, one athlete on the far left seemed to be experiencing pain in his arm and shoulder while executing the pose. He kept adjusting his posture and popped. The referee's voice echoed throughout the arena. You are banned. It's unclear whether synthol or steroids caused this incident, but in the clip we can see his swollen shoulder as he steps off the stage, signaling the end of his career. Number 7. Edward Spike was so determined to have the most ripped body and the most significant muscles that he started abusing steroids. He used them so often that his heart exploded. One day, after spending the day at the gym, he collapsed at home while cooking dinner, feeling like he was being stabbed in the heart. Spike was rushed to the hospital. Doctors informed him that his aorta had exploded and it was a miracle that he survived. Most people with such an injury don't live longer than a few seconds. Sadly, in 2016, he died from a brain seizure, according to his family, though it was not related to his exploded heart. Number 6. A 44-year-old bodybuilder was doing bicep curls at the gym when he suddenly felt something pop, and his muscles expanded. The reason for this change was that his bicep had exploded, detaching from the bone. After surgery and six months of rehabilitation, his arm looked and functioned normally again. The excessive use of synthol was the cause of his muscles becoming so large. Numerous tabloid media outlets reported that he was a professional bodybuilder worldwide, leading to many misconceptions about athletes. Perhaps he thought he was one of the greatest bodybuilders in history, which may have contributed to the misuse of synthol and the resulting muscle explosion. Number 5. Born in New York City, Ron Norman was the son of Hungarian blue-collar parents. His grandfather, a world-famous World Cup soccer champion, likely passed down some of his athletic genes to Ron. Ron's childhood was marked by struggles with weight and a lack of drive and discipline until he began working out in 1977. Within six months of hitting the gym and learning about nutrition, Ron's waist dropped from 42 to 32 inches. Moreover, Training gave him discipline and structure, leading to a remarkable improvement in his school grades, from an average of 65 to 97 within six months. Despite facing numerous challenges, including five tendon ruptures over the years due to intense training, Ron remained dedicated to bodybuilding. Each injury required surgery to reattach the tendons with anchors drilled into his bones. However, despite the setbacks, Ron persevered. He kept pushing forward despite his muscles continuing to rupture and the repetitive surgeries. Ron's journey has inspired many young people who have followed his progress. Number 4. Andre Gatos, a massive fan of Dwayne Johnson, started using steroids at a young age with the desire to surpass others and achieve a physique like The Rock. However, tragedy struck this young man when he was walking out of a store and collapsed due to a ruptured heart from excessive steroid use at only 19 years old. Setting aside his dreams of becoming the next generation's rock, he lost his life while pursuing his passion incorrectly. This serves as a sobering reminder, a slap in the face to young people who consider it a trade-off sacrificing for their passion. But truth be told, they may need help understanding what passion is. Phil Heath, for example, once juggled three jobs simultaneously to nurture his passion, and that is sacrifice and dedication. Number three, Branch Warren was born in Tyler, Texas, and grew up on a cattle ranch before eventually relocating to Fort Worth, Texas. He gained prominence as a bodybuilder, 
notably finishing second at the 2009 Mr. Olympia, his closest shot at winning the competition. His most significant victories came when he triumphed at the 2011 and 2012 Arnold Classic competitions. Warren had sponsorships from MuscleTech and Gaspari Nutrition. He frequently trains at the Metroflex Gym in Arlington, Texas, often alongside Johnny Jackson and previously with Janny Kroc. There were moments when Warren's muscles didn't suffer from strain in the gym or on stage simply because they were too massive. Unfortunately, Warren sustained an injury when he slipped on wet pavement, causing his right quadriceps tendon to rupture. This incident sidelined him from training for an extended period, primarily due to his muscles being enlarged beyond their natural limits as a result of steroid use. So during the day on Saturday, we uh, leaving the parking lot, it was raining. Uh, I slipped and uh, kind of a freak accident. And uh, when I slipped, I fell at a crazy angle and I stopped my, uh, my right quad. Uh, when I fell, I knew exactly what it was. It's, uh, if you ever torn a tendon, you never get the sound and, uh, and the feeling, you know, it, it snaps like rubber bands, the best way to describe it. So, uh, 2015, Warren retired from professional bodybuilding and shifted his focus to entrepreneurship. He is now the founder and owner of a beef jerky company called Wicked Cuts Jerky. Number two, a young man was working when suddenly he felt pain in his right shoulder and arm. He went to the hospital for diagnosis and it was discovered that a large amount of synthol in his arm seemed to have expired. It started swelling and turning red, resembling a large tumor. He also took a picture during surgery, showing his arm bursting open and he couldn't hide his bright smile, possibly due to the effects of pain medication making him feel euphoric, so he still found the situation funny. Number 1. Greg Valentino, known for having the most enormous biceps in the world, used steroids and synthol for many years until one day, he used a large amount of steroids and synthol that caused his left arm to explode. Some reports suggest his arm measured over 28 inches. However, after his surgery and recovery, he was arrested for illegally selling steroids to friends and acquaintances. This is another wake-up call for those who chase unrealistic ambitions, sacrificing their health and bodies for popularity. Somebody got in trouble and they ratted me. I was the only guy arrested. I'm still friends with everybody that can, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, you know, the, the cops, you know, knew what I was doing. I had cops that were, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always thought like, dude, I'm Teflon. I didn't give a cocky in my gym. I'd take boxes of and, you know, like stare at and throw it right on a fucking gym counter. I was an idiot. The cops followed my father and he took it. And my father was like 78 years old at the time, you know? And you're like, we're gonna put charges on you. You and your son are the kingpins of this operation. So this might make Floud a bit, a bit might make us a little happy that I'm in the hospital. But, uh, so I go to surgery in a half hour. Anyway, thank all you guys for looking out for me. I love you all.